What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude back with another unbiased, unfiltered, unadulterated boarding school review for your listening pleasure. Today, Trinity Pauling, located in Pauling, New York. You are up next in the crosshairs. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. Look, I've gotten your comments and your emails. And where have you been? We need another review. Bop, 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 bop. Guys, I, you know, I've been traveling. Uh, I've been hanging out with like, you know, famous people and celebrities and, you know, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm busy. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just busy. So, but look, we're, we're coming back up on the school year. The past week, it's been like, you know, unbelievably hot and humid and I mean, literally just yesterday it started to cool down and I kind of got a little bit of that like, you know, little brisk kind of fall chill going on in the air. It kind of reminded me, wow, this is like, you know, back to school weather, man. You know, leaves, you know, maybe like a month away from changing in the Northeast. And anyway, let's get right to it. Okay. God, I've been away from you guys for a while. All right. Trinity Pauling, located in Pauling, New York. You know, I'm not going to like give you too much fluff right now. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, get my mojo back on here. We have Trinity Pauling Boarding School, 60 miles north of New York City, uh, 9 through 12, all boys boarding. They, uh, It's also it's like 75% of the school is boarding, 25% isn't. They're day students. They also do 7th and 8th grade. Whoa. Where it was a little loud right there. Anyway, okay, so they do uh, seventh and eighth grade day students, blah, 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 whatever. Episcopalian, I don't know, let's see what they got. I mean, you know, they're in the Founders League. I think their endowment's around like 55, 60 million. You know, eh, a little low for the Founders League, right? I don't know. I mean, a little low. They call themselves the Pride. I guess their mascot is like a lion. That would be weird to call yourselves the pride and not have some sort of like, you know, <clears throat> lion affiliation, right? Yeah. Yearly tuition, 68 grand. Not cheap. Average uh, financial aid, 32 grand. Still on the hook for like 35, 36,000 every year. Not cheap. Acceptance rate, 50%. I don't know. I haven't watched one video of Trinity Pauling yet. So let's just get right into it and check it out. Trinity Pauling. Things definitely look a little different this year. Masks. Social distancing. Let's face it, we had to learn a lot of new things this year. Yeah, I think the main thing that we learned was that masks don't work, right? I mean, I mean, is that what they just said? Like, masks have no, let's just keep going. Things that just look like this. Now look like this. But Trinity Pauling has always been about bringing out the best in each other, holding ourselves accountable, pushing ourselves to the next level. Even though some things look different, I can tell you that certain things will never change. Because Trinity Pauling has taught me to reimagine what's possible. And it will teach you that too. Congratulations. You have earned a place at Trinity Paul. The learning happens. Move on. 
class of 86 field. So <clears throat> the Boston Red Sox. First baseman? Uh, yeah. Mo Vaughn. Guy used to hit bombs. Probably one of the most notable alumni to graduate from Trinity College. It's everywhere. Okay. All right. Whatever. Pretty standard. Let's check out another one. All right, right out of the gate. Can I just say that, like, I like this, you know? This looks classy. Why is this so fucking loud? Oh, my God. Nice. It, like, reminds me of, like, a medieval castle. Like a, what do they call it? A keep? Yeah. Nice. That looks disgusting. Okay, whatever. So that, what the? Okay, whatever. So you, a quick little intro vid, like an aerial vid. Like, let's get to another one that's like a little bit more in depth. Looks classy. Kind of like it. Kind of reminds me, like visually, of like, uh, like maybe, it's like slightly Kent, slightly Taft, like ish. So far, I don't know. It looks classy. Why does this place not get more like you know, no like notoriety or you know, I don't know. Let's just let's, let's keep going. Okay. Call ourselves the Prophet. We are three hundred brothers strong. We come from many states and nations, many backgrounds and walks of life. We come to Trinity Calling for one basic reason. To find that spark of greatness deep inside. And to fan it to ignite it. We come to learn from teachers who are masters of their fields. Who challenge us. Understand us. This place is like 60 miles north of New York City. You know, by default, I would have to assume that they just... This isn't like a stretch of the imagination or this isn't like some sort of educated guess. It's just like, but there's, I'm sh there's gotta be a ton of New Yorkers that come here, right? Yeah. Like I, I want comment down below guys. Is this place just completely filled with like, like boys from Manhattan? I don't know. And behind us 100%. We make this campus our proving ground. All right, all boys, Episcopalian. Who is their sister school? Like, who do they hang out with, girl-wise? You know, there's no way that they can be in the mountains, country, woods, you know, all year with no girls. So comment down below. Our playground. Our home. When did it become the norm for, like, Every dude from age like, you know, 10 to like 30 to just scream, let's go. Like, it's like the 2020, like, just male call of, it, let's go. Yeah, let's fucking get, let's go. If you're looking to dig deep, Trinity Pauling is for you. Want to know how it feels to have 300 brothers in your corner? The pride is ready to welcome you in. And once you're here, <laughs> and once you're here, you're stuck. That's how I always kind of felt like sometimes when I went used to go to all boys boarding school. You kind of feel stuck sometimes. Guys, comment down below. 
I would think that like Avon Old Farms and Trinity Pauling, like like they have like a massive rivalry. All guys, Founders League. I mean, comment down below. We discovered learning isn't about absorbing knowledge. It's about putting what you know into action, asking the right questions, coming up with answers you never thought were possible. It's about giving your all to everything you understand. Wow, do you guys see the size of that chapel? It was like really, really small. Or is that just like the lens of like the... It's only like five, like five people wide on both. That chapel is tiny. Whoa, how do they even fit 300 people in there for service? To everything you undertake. Along the way, you'll find that spark of greatness you've been carrying around inside. You'll discover it takes many forms. A balanced equation. A perfect pass. A moment of kindness. Faculty kid. It's all about discovering how you will shine. And contribute to the world around you. Because at Trinity Pauling, we believe great men are needed everywhere. And you are one of them. Greatness lives in you. Classy. All right. Let's go one more. All right. So, like, I've been searching and I just can't find a video that's just like a, like, school-wide tour. I mean, you know, we're trying. Communications, admissions, Trinity Pauling. Guys, got to step up your game. Let me tell you something. Like, you know, from that boarding school dude, I kind of feel like your direct competitors like Avon Old Farms being all boys, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Avon Old Farms, like, marketing videos are ridiculous. So you guys need to, like, get a little bit more um, higher up, you know, move that, move those videos a little bit higher up the, uh, the search engines because they just can't find anything so anyway here we go and this looks like it was filmed by like somebody's like nokia phone i mean this is i don't know this has to be student done there's no way this is like perfect Really? Who's what script is it? Look at the font. Trinity Pauling School proudly presents Scully Hall. There's no way that they produce this. There's no way. This is not good, guys. And it's a shame because this like the grounds look amazing. I can't find anything on. I don't know if I, I'm going to be able to get through this whole thing. There, no. Trinity Pauling. Let me tell you something. I'm actually going to rename your school. But only for a brief period of time until you tell admissions and communications department that they need to get something new, relevant, and just put their school in a better light. As of right now, it's Trinity appalling. I'm going to come back to this review at a future date when some new things are updated. Um, because this school looks amazing. Like, you know, look, I've been to a lot of boarding schools. Went to a few, okay? Grounds, where it's located. The classy little uniforms, right? A lot of pride in their sport teams and this and that. I think this place like could potentially be like for like that boarding school dudes dude score. This place could be in the nines. As of right now, from the marketing videos that I've seen, not good. You're at like seven point five right now. Um, I think it can go like through the roof. Let me tell you something. Let me give you, some, give you a little bit of advice. Contact the guys. 
they actually spoke with. They've actually reached out to them. They're like the guys who produced Avon Old Farms like marketing videos. They're amazing. Those guys actually saw my review of it and they were like, dude, love your review. Amazing. Thanks so much for the shout out. Hey, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Trinity Pauling. You should reach out to those guys because I think they would be able to take what you have there and market it a lot better. Look, if you don't want to use them, use somebody else. But what that boarding school dude is finding on YouTube and the internet right now, video wise of your school, it's it's not putting the best light on it. And I think that it could be done way better. Anyway, hey, look, I gave it a fair shake. And I'm actually willing, which I never do, to come back to it and re-review after you give me something else. But I want something more. I want I want to see the dorms. I want to see the cafeteria. I want to see the locker rooms. I want to see, you know, the inside of the chat main hall. I want to see it all. Like, why, why don't I have like a five, six minute video just showing you guys? Come on, let's go. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. See you soon.